Hey guy, this is the beer program, and you know me as Adam. That's why I like the beer head. So, just two Sunday football right now, and I thought I should get into something a little bit darker today. Instead of just having an IPA, day after day, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, let me just pull off it for a second. I gotta turn this down. I'm just gonna put it. Anyway, so, anyway, uh, like I was saying, we're gonna get something into a little bit quicker, a little bit sweeter, and something where Lasto, now everybody's gonna be like, no, Lasto blood in the field, that beer. Well, you know what? I'm gonna be Lasto, only belong in this style. What am I talking about, I wonder? Oh, that's right. It is a milk stout. This is straight back from Rain Hard Brewery down in Toronto. Now, you probably have heard of Rain Hard a couple of times on the channel before. It's actually where I in a, uh, review Kapow! The IPA that what you can get at the LTBO right now. So, it's really got the delicious IPA. So, if you haven't had a chance to get it, Better get there and cry because you know what? Ray Hall is absolutely delicious. And it's probably one of the underrated brewery in Ontario today. You know, they're really great. I like them a lot. I love them. You know, I they got so many good beer and you know, it really pains me for not to go down there often as much as I like to and pick up something from them, you know, like they're so good. You'd be surprised. So, anyway, so like, heart collide down. Oh, it's amazing. I think I have a couple in the cellar right now. I think I'm probably going to craft that out probably pretty soon, actually. So, um, but anyway, so let's get into the beginning. I'm only two minutes into the goddamn video and I haven't opened the beer yet. So, so this is straight, up, uh, straight back. No doubt, so this is 5%. So, if you can see right here, got a night heart right here. Typical uh, rain heart style. So, so this is the award-winning Milkdow new lactose dicker to impart a smooth and creamy body while gut malt are new to lay in a deep roasted flavor. Expect a full and robust mouthfeel with notes of mocha, coffee, and macaron. This is an easy drinking stout suitable for all seasons. So anyway, so they've been around for a long time. I want to say they've been about five years, I want to say. Hey, Georgian, how you doing? So, um, I'm going to you can see that. Perfect. Look at this stout glass right here. So, I'm going to you can see beautiful bright color right here. Uh, black and body. A nice mocha hair right there. Looks a little bit creamy right there. <sighs> Definitely getting that totally no for two. Getting that mocha. Getting that a little bit coffee. Anyway, go to it. Okay. It's definitely under the a little bit sweeter style of the you know compared to other styles where they tend to use the coffee for bitter, right? more than a little bit bitter, right? So let's say it's uh it's a stout from Tennyson, right? So that's a little bit more coffee version, but it's not so sweet. Because of the Grimford, the new Lasto sticker. So Lasto sticker is what I like to call the milk stout. So if you have had the bow con green beer, that's the milk stout right there. So let's say if you had a milk stout IPA, and they're new to Lasto sticker in an IPA, it doesn't really work out. I don't think, I personally, like, I mean, I like the first, Milk dough, personally, but after that, it was like, what the hell is this garbage? What the hot garbage going on here? So, um, but you know what? To each their own, everybody got a, a thought they like. So, if you want to put lacto in your beer, and you know what's funny? I remember when Royal Tilly Riverside back then, there was no one at Juice Rain. So when they did Juice Rain without the last of it was great. It was fantastic. It is the Riverside that we all know in today. But they started adding last of to it. And I 
freaking hated it. The beer got ruined. So, you know, I know, I know, there's the hat team team lacto out there, the lacto people just want to have lacto in their beer. Okay, great, cool, but I'm just saying, sometimes it doesn't belong in the beer. This is a great example of Newton lacto. Perfect. This is nice. This is like a big, well, not really big, because it's five percent. So it's like a middle, like a adult version of chocolate milk, you know, in a way. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's chocolate, it's got coffee, a bit of banana, you know, it's very like a bit sweet, but not overwhelming sweet. It's a great little stout here, so. And to think, I remember when the new to offer that in bottles. Like when how I do offer stuff in the bottles and now do they do some tall boys, they do the shorties, so they do some bottles. So if you haven't been to Wayne High in Toronto, go for it. Make an even of it to be honest with you. You know why though? Because right there in that area, you got Wayne High, then my way over right literally next door, well beside a lawyer or wherever the hell it is. It's Stockland, okay? Now, that's in that same pasta, okay? So you need to go walk all the way around. I don't know why they don't have a fence there, so you can't get, like, boop, boop, boop. They might go over here, which is the Dungeon Craft Brewery. They might down the other way. I don't know where it is. You got the people punch over there. The man, you have the Indian Ale House. So it's a great little area where they have all these little cool brewery right there. So if you ever get a chance to go down there, make a day of it and go to all those breweries. And it's awesome because, and uh, yeah, so that's it for the free program. Thank you very much and have a good night.